Hi everyone, welcome back to Pagayang Pinoy TV. Today I'm going to show you how to make easy pan fried pork chop. First, we will prepare the brine solution by combining the water, soy sauce, lemon juice, garlic powder, ground black pepper, and crushed garlic. Now I'm going to mix it to make sure that everything is well combined. Now I'm going to soak the pork loin and put it inside the fridge. So we're going to brine the meat for at least one hour or until overnight. Okay, so here it is. I just took it out from the fridge. This process breaks down some of the muscle tissues and help the meat maintain its moisture. Thus, your pork chop will be tender and juicy. Now I'm just letting the meat drip the excess brine and then we will set it aside. Now I'm going to make a slit or chop the rind of the meat so it will stay flat and it will be cooked evenly. By the way, for the brine solution, you may also add other aromatics such as lemongrass, star anise, bay leaves, and others to infuse more flavor. But for this recipe, I use simple ingredients which are readily available in my pantry. So I'm just going to do the same step. I'm going to make a slit on the rind of the meat, just like so. Next, we're going to prepare the marinade solution. In a small bowl, add the oyster sauce. Next, put in the vegetable oil. I'm also adding one teaspoon of paprika and black pepper. Then mix it until well combined. Okay, so this marinade solution is ready. Next, I'm using a glass container, but you can also use a bowl. Place the meat or the pork chop. Then we're going to brush the marinade sauce into the meat. So make sure you put the marinated sauce all over the meat. Now I'm brushing it on the other side, just like so. So I'm putting a generous amount of the marinated sauce. Now I'm going to do the same procedure on the remaining meat. So I'm brushing the marinated sauce all over.
let's put the cover and I will marinate it for about an hour. Here I'm heating a pan over high heat and then I'm adding the cooking oil. Once the oil is hot enough, reduce it to medium heat and pan fry the pork chop until dark brown and the edges of the meat caramelize. I'm cooking this for 2-3 to three minutes on the first side. Now it's time to flip and cook until the chops are golden brown on the other side. That is about 1-2 to two more minutes. Using a tong, I'm going to hold it like this to make the rind crispy. Okay, so this is done. I'm going to remove it from the pan and I will repeat the same step with the remaining pork chop. This is our simple and delicious pork chop. It is best served with hot rice. That's the final product, the easy pan fried pork chop. I hope you like this video and just comment it below if you have any suggestions that you would like me to do on my next video and don't forget to click on subscribe tap the bell icon so you can receive updates on our latest videos and if you want to get the full recipe just visit our website at www.bakayangpinoytv.com don't forget to follow us in instagram and facebook page so you will be updated Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!